Hey everyone, my name is Tim. I'm a uh, AMP here in Tucson. And today we're gonna to shoot a little video and cover how to calculate a setback. Setback is used when you need to uh, minimize how much material you use, you know, cut down on waste, because you're only gonna take exactly what you need to make the line or the bracket. Uh, in our case here, we have a mock-up, which is typical of what you may see at a, a DME when you're taking your oil practical test. In our case, we have a, a fitting, a fitting, and we're gonna to need to make a line that goes from fitting to fitting, making a 90 degree bend. Super easy task. Before we start, we need to know a couple of things. We need to know what our mill is, our distance to our fitting to where our intersecting our, our second mill line. We also need to know our bend radius and our metal thickness. For today's exercise, our bend radius is 0 0.25, straight off our apparatus. We're also using 5052 aluminum, and the thickness of it is uh, 0.250 as well. So that makes it real easy. To calculate our setback, we take our mill distance, which is five inches, minus our setback. And our setback is that bend radius plus our metal thickness, in our case, a half inch. And then you times it by the K factor. You can get that K factor right out of your 4313-1B. In our case, the math is easy for a 90 degree bend. We times that by one, half inch times one equals a half inch. So now I know where to mark my material. I would take my measurement and I would set it back a half inch, which makes it four and a half inches is where uh, my bend tangent line would be. And what is that bend tangent line? That's the part where the material goes from a straight line to starting to make that bend. Once I have that mark, I can make my 90 degree bin. I would end up with something looking like this. I could take this piece and check it, making sure that it's gonna line up. Yep, this will work. I can then assemble my fitting, my sleeve and backing nut. I could flare this and I could test it. Remember, before you make that flare, you wanna make sure that you have all your pieces in place. If I were to flare this in, and flare this in, I, there's no way I can make this go around the other side facing the other way. So I always say, make sure I have everything in place before I start my flare. Once I do make a flare and have my assemble, I could take my, I could check my piece. I could assemble it, see how it fits. I could test it for fit and finish. I could also pressure check the line and then I prove it to uh, be installed. As you can see, my line fits and uh, my fittings are installed. So in review, we made that real easy. Calculating a setback, measure your mill. From there, you're gonna figure out what your setback is. You take your, metal, your bin radius plus your metal thickness times your K factor that equals your setback and subtract that from the mill. That's where your bin tangent line would be. That difference would also be called your flat. You would make your bin, assemble your line, flare, test fit, assemble your line, flare, pressure test and install. I hope this video has been a real quick, easy way to understand a little bit more about how to calculate a set line. Remember, you can reference your 4313-1B or any other uh, tech data you have from your manufacturer. Be safe out there, measure twice, cut once, and I'll see you next video.